What's up people? Welcome to the video and welcome back members of the Tang Gang. Today we are starting the second continent in the Pokemon World Distribution series, Europe. If you haven't seen the Asia episodes, I would recommend checking out the first video to get an idea of what this series is about. You can click the iCard on screen now to go right over there or there will be a link in the description as well. Asia had 259 Pokemon and Europe came in second place with 216. Drop a like if you're excited to find out which Pokemon would be from Europe, and now, without further ado, let's jump into this. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. They resemble the common toad which is found on multiple continents, but is also sometimes referred to as the European toad. Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. Salamanders are found all over, but mythical salamanders come from European folklore, and Charizard embodies European fire-breathing dragons. Caterpie, Metapod, and Butterfree. While Caterpie's design may have Asian origins, Butterfree looks like the black-veined white butterfly which appears all throughout Europe and was a favorite of Winston Churchill's. Ekans and Arbok Arbok may be Cobra backwards, basically, but there's much more evidence supporting this line's origin coming from the European Basilisk, which is said to be poisonous and have a killer glare. Cleffa, Clefairy, and Clefable. These Pokemon are literally just based on European fairies, even before their typing was actually fairy. Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. Bodybuilding originated in England in the late 19th century, so it's safe to assume these guys would be there for that. Tentacool and Tentacruel. Tentacruel is based on the Portuguese Man o' War, and Portugal is in Europe, of course. Ponyta and Rapidash. The unicorn is a popular mythical creature in European lore which Rapidash originates from. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. Gengar bears a strong resemblance to the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, written by English writer Lewis Carroll. Onyx and Steelix. They're likely based on earthworms, but since those are too widespread, the alternate origin works better, that being the European worm of myth. Mime Jr. and Mr. Mime. Miming was originally developed in France by a few different French actors, mainly, and I'm probably going to pronounce these names wrong, Etienne de Creux and his teacher Jacques Coupeau. Tauros. Bulls are probably most well known for bullfighting and the running of the bulls, which both happen in Spain. Lapras. If you somehow didn't know, Lapras is based on the Loch Ness Monster which is said to inhabit the waters of Scotland. Flareon. Flareon is more of a generic fox than the rest of the evolutions. Foxes are spread throughout the world, but they're unfortunately known for being hunted for sport in Europe, specifically the British Isles. Ammonite and Omastar. Both are based on a form of ammonite, an ancient species whose fossils were often mistaken for petrified snakes in medieval Europe. Aerodactyl. Its design is mostly based on a family of pterosaurs called Remphorhynchidae, named by British paleontologist Harry Gauvier Seeley. Moltres. Moltres is designed to be a form of phoenix, legendary birds which come from Greek mythology and burst into flames when they die. Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium. This line is based on sauropods, long-necked, lizard-hip dinosaurs that were first discovered in England. I actually made a mistake in the last episode listing Tropius, Amora, and Aurorus as Asian Pokemon, but they are also based on sauropods and thus belong here in Europe as well. Centret and Furret. Change one letter from Furret and you get Ferret, the domesticated form of the European polecat. Ladybug and Ledian. Known as ladybugs in America and ladybirds in the UK, odds are they were in England first so they belong in this dex. Chinchow and Lantern. Man, these guys gave me a hard time, since football fish are so widespread, and Wikipedia just says they were discovered by an unnamed fisherman in the 1900s. I ended up tossing them in Europe because Lantern also apparently draws inspiration from the Greek god Apollo as well. Polytoad. Slightly different from the family it branches off of, Polytoad looks more like a European tree frog with its lime green coloring and yellowish feet. Hopip, Skiploom, and Jumpluff. This line depicts the lifespan of a dandelion, the two most common species of which originated in Europe. Yanma and Yanmega. Dragonflies are quite widespread, but the ancient genius Meganeura seems to be the main inspiration for these giant insects, probably where Yanmega gets its mega from. The first Meganeura fossils were discovered and named by French paleontologist Charles Brognard. Mistrevis and Miss Magius. While witches are the most commonly cited inspiration for Miss Magius, it's tough to place witches in a certain region due to how widespread the concept is. But both Miss Magius and Mistrevis draw upon the idea of a banshee, which is a type of female spirit in Irish mythology. 
unknown. They take the form of the characters in the Latin alphabet, which obviously has European derivations. Snubble and Gramble, based on bulldogs, also known as British or English bulldogs. Houndour and Houndoom. The origin for these pups is Cerebrus, the Hound of Hades from Greek mythology. Stantler, the closest thing the Pokemon universe has to a reindeer. The Tymere herd of migrating Siberian tundra reindeer in Russia is the largest wild reindeer herd in the world. Smeargle, a mix of an artist and a beagle. The modern day breed of beagle was developed in Great Britain in the 1800s. Miltank, it shares traits with Jersey cows, not from New Jersey in the US, but from the original Jersey in England. Lugia, while its thematical inspirations draw upon the qualities of Ryujin, the guardian of the sea in Japanese mythology, Lugia physically resembles a plesiosaur. The oldest plesiosaur fossil was discovered in Germany in 2013. And that's where we'll leave it off for now. Let me know in the comments below which of these European Pokemon origins was your favorite, and which Pokemon from Gen 3 and beyond you think will end up joining the EU. Also, be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you enjoy being awesome. Thanks for watching, and until we meet again, later people!